Okay. Back to Amber Twin right away. I'm gonna get into higher energy lab today. It's gotta happen. The trailhead was covered by the time we got there. But now we have a shortcut. A very, very good shortcut, I think. Very safe shortcut. I'm gonna get right over to the sun. Like so. Look for the planets. Damn it. Planet, get out of the way. Okay, we got it. We got it realigned. There we go. One that's crashing out right here. All right, we got it. Okay, let's go. We're on the dark side now. Got to find the entranceway. It's in the back here someplace. There it is. Oh, that's going to be so good. We're going to there so fast. Okay. Go, go, go. And we jump from here to there. And we jump from up here to there. And this has got a thing on this side. Thankfully, I was concerned about that just now. Should we build a sun station to power the Ash Twitch project? I can't comprehend this being the suggested seriously. The purpose of sun station goes against every standard we hold ourselves to, everything we believe in as a species. If we fail, we will without question destroy ourselves, all life here, and all the rest of the star system. I wish to protect these species. The potential annihilation of the entire star system is too severe a cost. We shouldn't build a sun station no matter how badly we want the knowledge that comes with it. Feel or failure is a poor reason not to try. I believe if we're cautious, the sun station will work. I believe in Pi. Poke, I'm deeply honored. Idea, I comprehend your position. However, if we aren't all certain the sun station will not cause destruction once we've built it, then I won't support the station's use. Are there other ways to generate this level of power? Theoretically, yes. Practically, no. I can't, can't imagine discovering them in our lifetimes. I understand this proposal is unsettling, but the sun station must be built if we hope to complete the Ash Twin project. Unsurprisingly, idea, I disagree with pushing a possibility of technology further than ever before. That, in my experience, is defining characteristic of our species. Okay. Let's go quickly. It's this one here. Go quick. Look, it's right, it's right here. It's a winding path that's all the way down there. It's got to, it's got to, I just got to go for it, I think. This is it. We got it. High energy lab. Okay, we're in. There's probably no going back from this one, though. But we gotta check it out. Alright. Now. Big bright wires guiding the way. Seems like a safe way to go. Wires would never leave me wrong. Except for they go right through that sand. So there's gotta be another way. <laughs> I can't jump through sand like that. Wires can just fine. Let's go this way. And what I should have done is launched a probe through it so I could tell when I found the right way to go. Otherwise, how do I know? Yeah, we're back. That would just kill me. Let's try to get through there. I mean, it seems like all it is is just a bunch of death. There's no way. Hmm. And we got blocked off there. Okay, let's go this way. Let's just do this. Let's leave a thing here. That way we can at least see where the gap is. 
that I need to worry about. If there's another way through it. We'll try it. And now coming back up to it the right the other way. Maybe I can go over the top here. Nope. This is not right. Oh, I could have gone through it right away. God. Okay, we got to go quickly. Now we're running out of time. I can't go through there. Oh, damn it. Yeah. All right, we gotta try it again. We're close. So I think the high energy lab is pretty much gonna be a pretty big moment. Before we get to that, I wanna take a look at some of the littler things around here which was the angler fish. There were still some questions and stuff to explore with that. So we're gonna take a slight little detour here today, get off of our laser focus for just a minute here, and then we'll come back and think through that sand trap here in a minute. But uh, let's try this over here first. This is the angler fish overlook, right? I think what we have to do is fire probe into the angler fish. And maybe that's the answer to get to the other thing. I don't know why it would, but I have a, I have a, just a suspicion. Okay. Anglerfish. Okay, that should work. Um, they said fire a light down there. I'm gonna try it. Hit it with a stepping stone now. And hope it hasn't already been blocked off. Stepping stone cave, okay, here we go. This is where we just came out of. That's why I'm thinking there's a way through this. Scout is up there. Uh, uh, uh. Maybe. I don't know. Trust it. I'm stuck. Well, there's a scout. Hold on. I'm in. What's it say? Whoever it was that we ended up last time is the anglerfish. Rule change. Anglerfish now has to wear a blindfold and do not peek. Why are we changing it? It's too hard to see anything. And Pi says real anglerfish are blind, so you have to wear a blindfold. Rule stands. Rule update. If younger kids don't wear the blindfold when they're it, the rest of us will still wear it for scientific accuracy to make the game more even. The rest of us line up against one wall. When the anglerfish says go, the little fish sneak across to their side. If the anglerfish catches you, you're eaten. Lost little fish is to be caught in the new anglerfish. Old anglerfish gives the new anglerfish a blindfold to become a little anglerfish. Okay. Ship log updated. Great. What is that updating? Oh, wait, what's this? Okay. I'm game for whatever this is doing. What is this? Anglerfish study. Anglerfish digestive tract suggests death by starvation. 
An update, Melora and I, while I was making sketches of the anglerfish, I observed the children saw playing earlier again. We have a rule change to the game that incorporates our research. How wonderful. Visually, a specimen appears to be the species of the anglerfish of dark bramble. We don't believe it originated from this planet. Long growth protruding from its head, bioluminescence used to track prey, a lure. Entirely delighted. It's all too early to appreciate biology. Okay, okay, okay. This is this is a way in though. Let's go this way. This is something. I don't know what it is. Oh, I'm outside. Well, that's nice, but that doesn't really help me at all. I'm just outside. So that's cool, but doesn't get me past the problem area in a way I wanted. Shoot. All right. Fuel of a critical. I should have grabbed more fuel. I'm out of time now, though, again. I mean, anglerfish, all well and good, but... Man, I don't know. There's got to be something I'm missing. Let's head back to the ship. I'm out of fuel. We got we to gotta refuel. All right, we're back. Let's take a look at the ship's log here quick and see what was updated on it. It would be nice if the high energy lab was updated. The anglerfish fossil. No, the, the high energy lab was not updated. Hmm. The shelter site wasn't fully done either. Oh, that's escape by one shelter site, right? Ash Twin Project High Energy Lab. Still nothing there. Let's go back at it. Let's go back down there. How much is filled up with sand already? And the path to this is closed off already. That's done. That's done. I Shrine, and that is High Energy Lab Trailhead. Okay, we gotta try it again. Oh, what's this? Why is there ghost matter in here? So this seems like it's connected with the eye shrine lights that we turned on. So uh, I don't know if we've been over there or not, but it wouldn't hurt. And there's not much else I can check out around here. So let's try to get in this room here. And it doesn't look like I can get in from this side. I'm going to take a look around, but um, then I'll look at other options, I think. like these crystals are formed by ghost matter or creating the ghost matter. I don't know. I think we got it. I think I'm where I want to be. Be welcome to this place. The shrine is a space to reflect on what brought us to the star system. The signal from the eye. We observe the eye signal tra travels followed to its source. We source the signal is older than the universe itself. The rest we have yet to learn. Enter and open your mind to the possibilities. Okay, so we've been in here before, I'm pretty sure. The eye called to us. Why won't it reveal itself to us? The eye no longer be found. Yeah, we've seen this before, I feel like. The shrine of the eye. Did the eye deliberately call out to us by sending the signal? Perhaps the eye wanted to be found. Maybe it chose us. Does the eye desire something from us? Maybe it doesn't have to. Does that mean the eye is any less important, though? Yeah, we've seen this before, I feel like. Is it a natural... Is the eye natural or artificial? Maybe someone built it. The eye is older than the universe itself. How could something exist before its creation? It could be naturally occurring, but this doesn't answer how the eye could be as old as it is. What else is here? Anything? And now I'm in this room and I'm stuck. That's kind of where I ended up last time, I'm pretty sure. Well, I found a way out at least. Gravity cannon. All right. Well, we can get to that at least.
That's my shortcut. All right, well, I'm out. We could go take another chance over there, I guess. Now it's we're kind of late in the game. This was the one where I was thinking we gotta like sneak in somehow. I don't see any way past it. There's no place to stand in there. I'd have to like navigate this whole way through. Or can I? Oh my God, I've done it. <gasps> I've done it. Now we Open this up. I can't believe I'm never going to be able to do that again. Now we try to do this. Let's see what it's going to send me. This one seems to be going to Dark Bramble. I don't want to go there. I don't want to go to Dark Bramble. Wait, is it going to the Quantum Moon? Or is this going to the sun station like I thought? Oh, there it goes. No? Hmm. Oh, wait. No? Where's it going to take me? If anywhere. It can take me into the core. That'd be fun. No. My ship is gone. Bye, ship. I think the sun station is gone already. Not that one. The sun has gone red already. I think we might have absorbed the sun station is the problem. See, look at this. It goes. Eh, I don't know. Something's not working now. This had to be it. Yeah, it's too late. With the sun of having gone red already. I think it's too late to get in here. Out of time. Well, we got in at least. I know how. I know how to do it now. I could do it earlier next time, much earlier. There's a lot more time because this 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 one is pretty tall. It goes pretty much right away. But I think that's what this is going to. In any event, let's go into the sun. I can be in a supernova if I want to be. So let's head back relatively quickly. I don't have a way to get past that. I don't have a way to get past that sand yet, though. There's got to be another way in there. Gotta, gotta, gotta try it again. There's got to be an answer. Maybe it's something I'm missing, but... If I can get there before the sand starts coming, maybe... That's a big jump. Like, the sand comes pretty quickly. The sand comes before I can even land, for the most part. I mean, I'm getting there as fast as I possibly can at this point. You know what, though? It might be... It might be a timing thing. I think I need to get there early in order to get through the door. But then... The only way to get through that pit, I think, is to wait for the sand to level it off. And then I can jump over the top without falling down into it. And then I have a limited time. That's kind of how it gates it, I guess. That would make that would make sense. But then I got to figure out how to do the next part here pretty quickly. I don't have a lot of time to mess around. It's that makes a lot of sense. And it's got to be possible then. I mean, if everything's possible in this, it's got to be possible. Got it. Now we go. Now we go, go, go. 
Sand fills this corridor. Then I got to figure out the next steps. So I'm stuck here for minutes until the sand rises. Okay, we're almost there. I guess when this one's covered or starting to be covered, these are all good. Maybe this is this here to measure. Because we're all kind of the same height. Oh, well, that was a patch. That's okay. Okay, now we got a little bit, little bit of limited time to get through here. I want to do what I want to do is launch this out here so I can see where that goes. Then I'm going to come across here and see if I can get through there another way. So the scout's on that side of me now. I think we did it. I think we did it. This is new. Yes. 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 Wait, where does this take me? Ah, interesting. Three minutes air remaining. Where is this room? Well, I see a way out from there. I don't see a way back though. I'm going to count on there being oxygen in this room here. Wait, that's the down. Uh, hold on. I got to go up then. I got to go up there. Okay, I'm in a room. Is this the high energy lab? I would say so. Let's read this first. Records show that Romai arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow very slightly before departing from the Whitehall Station. Rami and I would devise an experiment to test if this is a real phenomenon or a simple machine error. In the theory, we want to try to reproduce as a negative amount of time elapsing between something entering a black hole and exiting a white hole at its destruction. Wait, destination, not destruction. Initial things first, our experiment setup will pair a small black hole core with the white hole core to mimic the setup on a white hole station. Hypothesis is possible for an object to exit a white hole before entering the corresponding black hole. Okay. Okay. Take this one out. Put this one in. An update. Our experiment here reproduced the anomaly in arrival and departure times, but Pi is unconvinced it's more than an equipment error. I hope to strengthen the effect to render it invisible to visible to the aid and unaided eyes. To that end, we've decided to try adding more energy. I, I imagine the Sunless City's energy supply will should provide sufficient. Of note, Rami, Yaro requests that we let him know before we reroute energy for the experiment. All available energy has been rerouted from the city to our experiment. Rami and I are about to run a new test. I hate to leave him in the dark. Hypothesis confirmed. Hypothesis confirmed. I saw it. Pi, I saw it. Hypothesis confirmed. This is beyond extraordinary. This changes everything. What a beautiful day for the intersection of abstract theory and practical application. So they did the time travel. They did the time travel. Now, what is this all about? So this is, this is, this is the station. This is, this is the Ash Twin, Ash Twin project, right? So that one with the sun looking thing, like I said, was going to th that planet, whatever that ends up being. I don't know, but I was on the right track. It's a black hole, white hole situation. The Southern Observatory is asking if creating a 22 minute interval is, poss is possible. That is to have something arrive 22 minutes before it is actually sent through warp. 
We've learned negative interval of time between departure and arrival can be increased by adding more energy to the warp core of brick. Problematically, the energy required to extend the interval increases at exponential rate. Hypothesis creating a 22 minute long interval is possible. We are currently unable to generate the necessary energy. So that is my interval for this game, 22 minutes, by the way. That's why it's important. Rami and I believe it would be necessary to invent a new method of producing energy, a thrilling but enormous undertaking. We would also require advanced warp technology to handle such energy. We'd also likely need enormous space to fit these proposed new energy and warp technology together. If the only location large enough would be Ash Twin. The energy is currently unavailable, you say. You're a gas pie. My pun was unintended, Rami, so I believe it's you who are our aeroform. Let's take what this what's this? What's this? What's this? Out. In. I don't have a lot of time here. I can hear the sand already. I don't know if it's coming in here or not. I might just be buried. The Ash Twin Project will be the biggest undertakings, metaphorically and physically, to build it. We would need a way to travel quickly between Ash Twin and the location of the hold that holds the crucial project materials. What if we use the towers, like the one we have on Whitehall Station, to connect each planet directly to Ash Twin? Of note, each tower on Ash Twin will lead to a different planet. Root, Poke, and I will begin work at the Black Hole Forge. This will keep us busy. We can design each tower visually reflect the planet it links to. That's what I was saying. It's, it's connecting. The Giant's Deep Tower, for instance, will re resemble a cyclone. That's that one. Yes. Okay, I get it. So this one is... That's our house. That's 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 uh, Timber Hearth. That's Giant's Deep. That's the Sun Station. That's why would there be a teleporter for Ember Twin? That's interesting. But not too bad. We might be able to use that still. And then there's this one, which is Brittle Hollow. What is the um, oh the Observatory in the South Pole? That's going to be uh, yeah Brittle Hollow. And that one's going to be Sun. There's nothing that teleports to Dark Bramble, because why would they go there? It's terrible. Okay, let's take a look upstairs here, see if there's anything else. This is awesome. This is so cool. We made it out. This door will remain closed for some time. Pioneer running experiment based on the extraordinary findings of the Whitehall Station. Ram and I will begin the running experiment until one of us, specifically me, can prove the other wrong. And although inconvenient, the lab is currently only accessed for the path or something in the city. And finding sand inside would disrupt the setup. We have enormous consequences. We realize this is an intruding pro prospect. The door must remain closed nonetheless. Update High Energy Lab is now being used to design the Ashman Project. If you're here to help, be sure to use the lab in Sunless City, which we just did. And this is the Sunless City 300 meters. Okay. Okay, I like it. Now, the sun has not gone supernova yet. I think I might be able to get over there quickly if I can get to my ship also, also very quickly. Um, but that is fantastic. We got something achieved today. That is awesome. Okay, so let's get to my ship. How do we do that? It's on the other side of the planet. Through the middle is not an option, really. Is the sun gone supernova yet? It's going. It's going. But I see the station. So it's still there. I think it will disappear, though, as we suspected. What is this? Oh, that's the window for the sun. Oh, that's nice. Okay. If we get there quickly, maybe we can do this. We want the one that looks like a sun. And then I want to be able to uh, navigate those prickly pear things again. Okay, everyone, Ash Twin. So the one that has twin towers is the one that's connecting to Ash Twin and Ember Twin. Uh, obviously not. Oh, this one right here. This is it. This one connects to Ash and Ember. So where does it launch me then? I'll have to take a look at that one later. That's that's worth another try later on. Um, I want to get to this guy. Before it's too late. 
And we might not, this might not be the only trip we need to take to it. Okay, so we got to get to this side here. Drop down carefully. And then we got to get through here carefully. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh God. Oh, punctured vitals. Well, we tried. <laughs> That'll be another day then.